Hey guys, it's Bass Buzzard here. We are doing a, uh, I guess, a tutorial on how to set up a bait caster. We're gonna be using this kind of reel on a. The full pole is not in yet, but it's a uh, six from six foot pole. We're gonna use ten pound test. Oh, I can't read it. Triline, triline. I don't know. Um, we're gonna be using this wacky worm. It's a uh, like a darker, dark green with like red sparkles and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be showing you how to do it. All right, so you gotta get your line. Yeah, very nice. You want to stick it in the hole? You want to double knot it? And cut the correct line this time. Yeah, go ahead and cut this off. And then you're. Let me cut more of that off so it doesn't take a You want to have another person really by you? Yeah, really close by you. You want to have like some sort of like oh, stick thing? I messed it up again. How? Right. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, good. We're just going to speed through this part, alright? Well, then we got to turn on the times up. Yeah. Alright. Wait, so. we just put a stick through here. Yeah, we should put a stick through here and have someone hold it. All right, guys, so you, this is very important. You want to make sure that you have at least a, like a centimeter left or else the backlash will be horrible on it. Then you're going to take your line and you're going to want to put it through this hole. It's kind of hard to do. Like that. And make sure when you're reeling it in, you make the make sure that the line's tight while you're reeling it in. Otherwise it'll be loose and horrible. Let some line out. Alright. Alright, so now you're gonna take it through your little eye holes. All the way up. the rest to drink. Make sure that you don't twist through the pull at any time. I and then the line through it all. I personally use a swivel with a rounded swivel because I think it allows your 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 bait to swivel freely in the water. We're gonna cut this out of the video. There we go. Put it up high. There's there's a lot of different ways that people tie it. I just go like this and put this, put this line through here a few times. <laughs> Without messing up. Without messing up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so frustrating.
Kette. And like he said earlier, we use these worms right here, green with red sparkles, because in a lot of these local ponds, the water's more dirty and musky, and the fish can see the sparkles, and they attack the crap out of that. What size hook is that? This is the hook we use. It's not too big, not too small. It fits into bluegill's mouth easily. It fits into a bass's mouth. It'll fit into a catfish's mouth. It's pretty much just a hook that'll go into any fish. And then how I set up this is I make sure that it's right in the middle like this. And then I go straight through the middle of it. And then that's how you set it up.